646, our top headlines in our Smart Star for Wednesday, beginning with breaking developments. The late night shooting in Rochester is now a murder investigation. Police got the call and say they found the 38-year-old victim just before 11 on Barron Street, north of Clifford Avenue. He was rushed to the hospital where he later died, and we're told there are no suspects here in custody. Two people injured after a fight following the high school graduation held at Nazareth University. Deputies got these calls around 930 for a large group of people fighting. This was as the ceremony for the School of the Arts graduation being held there was getting out and there was a brawl in the parking lot. Deputies say two people taken away by the ambulance have minor injuries. The sheriff's office is keeping up that investigation as it remains open. The village of Newark in mourning at the sudden loss of this 17-year-old boy who drowned in the Erie Canal. Hundreds of classmates, faculty, teachers all got together last night to support his family. Aron Spitzer is here in studio now live with how he's being remembered. Aron. Yes, the Newark community decided to channel their grief into a show of support for the family of 17-year-old Wilson August Dave. He drowned in the Erie Canal Monday night. Police say a witness reported seeing the high school student enter the water from the top of a guardrail. The witness then attempted to save the teen but couldn't locate him. An hour later, first responders found August Dave in the water. He was dead. Last night, his classmates, along with others who knew him, gathered to honor his memory. He would always try to be here for me. He would always talk me up to do things like if I were to do something bad, he'd tell me not to do it and try to make me in a better mood no matter what. He was a happy kid. We wouldn't really know what was going on with him. He always had a smile on his face. Wilson August Dave's family was there and shared their appreciation for the community coming out to show their support. The Newark Central School District is also offering counseling to any students or staff that need support. The investigation is ongoing and they do not suspect foul play at this time. Guys, back to you. All right, thank you there, Iran. New York's ATF Bureau offers $5,000 in exchange for information related to Sunday's shooting at MLK Park in Rochester. Now, the gathering in the overnight hours left six people shot, including a 17-year-old, all of them expected to live. The shooting also prompted the mayor to impose restrictions on nightly park hours, not going so far as implementing a full-on curfew. The city's lawyer tells News 8 the park and the surrounding streets will shut down early every night and enforcing a curfew could come with a lot of legal hurdles but he says that option is not totally out of the question. The ladies from the scene on Child Street in Rochester where crews are demolishing the abandoned warehouse we were covering as that fire was breaking yesterday morning. A large crowd was there watching the flames when this began as you see in this video sending smoke billowing up hundreds of feet into the sky. No injuries were reported. Again, it was a vacant property. The cause there remains under investigation. A child and an adult taken to the hospital to be treated for smoke inhalation after city fire crews rushed to a house fire on Lyle Avenue near Mount Reed Boulevard also very early Tuesday morning. This comes as uh, the cause of the fire remains under investigation. A Greece town official faces charges of corruption, theft, and misconduct linked to her involvement with the town's community center. You see previous footage here of Michelle Marini served as deputy town supervisor from 2014 until last year. The DA's office tells us she violated multiple laws over a two-year time frame related to work on the Greece community and senior center, now known the center at Greece Town Hall. Marini is also accused of unlawfully tracking a resident in town using GPS. At the end of last year, Marini became the Director of Constituent Services, a role which she still technically holds, at least according to the town's website. She is due for an arraignment coming up next week. is your local election headquarters and this morning we have those results you've been waiting for from the primary day ballots. Let's take you through that the main contest we've been following the big race in Rochester former mayor lovely Warren trying to make a political comeback uh, against criminal defense attorney Michael Geraci for a spot on Rochester City Court. The votes here again unofficial but the total shows Geraci is the clear winner. He got nearly 4,800 votes to Warren's 4,100 that judge seat is a 10 year term. We also stopped by the watch parties for the two Democrats vying for the 137th New York Assembly District seat. Willie Lightfoot trying to upset incumbent Demond Meeks. With 100% of the votes now in, Meeks got 66%, fending off the challenge from Lightfoot. Meeks will face the Republican candidate Marcus Williams come the fall. The two Republicans battling it out for the 24th Congressional District. And once again here, the incumbent is the winner. Congresswoman Claudia Tinney came out on top in that contest. Test picked up nearly 59% of the total vote. Attorney Mario Frado got about 39%. 
on those unofficial results. And just remember, as you want to keep updating the results, we will update them first on our website, rochesterfirst.com. Just click on over to the your, election, your local election HQ tab. More headlines here as thieves are at it again. Stealing food benefits from people who need them the most. About 350 cases of EBT skimming have been reported just this month alone in Monroe County. This crime happens when these criminals copy card and pin details as cardholders use a card reader at a store for checking out. The the stolen or scammed data is then used to access and spend the victim's benefits. That leaves the customer without the means to pay for their groceries. Back in the fall, there was a rise in this type of scheme going around, and new protections were brought on in January from state leaders. Now the county's Department of Human Services says it's expediting the process to replace the benefits and also helping people connect with food banks in the meantime to get by. We have more details, including information on how to get a replacement card at rochesterfirst.com. Moments of panic downtown as a car flipped in the middle of an intersection, trapping a woman, her dogs, and their puppies. This happened at the corner of Chestnut and Court Street just around 9 yesterday morning, and there were three cars all involved in the crash. Witnesses on the sidewalk were the ones to rush in to catch the puppies, keep them safe, while the first responders worked on cutting that driver out of the damaged vehicle while it laid on its side. We came down here and then we were kind of just taking care of the puppies while the firefighters did their job and got the person out safely. Um, but yeah, it, I think it looks like everybody's okay. So at the end of the day, that's really all that matters. Um, and from my understanding, the puppies are going to be okay. Witnesses nearby also brought in some treats and water to keep the pups calm. And the driver was taken to the hospital. We're told she is expected to live. A final reminder today, a chance for pet owners around the area to get some free vet care from 10 to 2 o'clock at Glad Tidings Church on Culver Road. Free dog and cat vaccines available. Also, pet food will be handed out at no cost. About a week after its grand reopening, the Humboldt Spray Park in Rochester hitting a bit of a snag, has to close again for upgrades. City officials say the park is too slippery, so they're working to make it more slip resistant. Those changes are going to be made throughout the end of the month. The new Scottsville service area on the thruway is open, so that's on 90, closest to us, eastbound between exits 47 and 46. That's the 17th new service renovation done as part of the ongoing project to modernize all 27 thruway service areas to flip them. Restaurant options there, Burger King and Duncan, also a new playground and dog walking area. Our sunrise traffic map shows us here at 655. Thruway is good from Scottsville Henrietta exits, passing over to Victor. Traffic picking up there on 490. We do have a water main break, Chilai Avenue, Old Scottsville Road. Got that area shut down. We're bringing more updates coming up here momentarily at rochesterfirst.com. For now, final look at that weather. Headed out. Mm. Yeah, I just poked my head outside and said, pretty nice out. Uh, yeah, outside yeah of, not too bad. Yeah, low 70s there, so it's a little bit warmer than the uh, past mm. couple days, but overall pretty comfortable. There's a lot of spots of blue out there, which is also nice as well. We do have rain in the forecast. Uh, that p.m. rain, I know you see it and say, okay, so 12.01 p.m. to midnight. That's when we're going to get the rain, mm -hmm. right? No, 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 not that's not it's going to be late in the day. I'd say after 5 or 6 p.m. That's when the showers will move in. So plenty of dry time. In fact, you might, if you're a 9 to 5, you may go the whole day without seeing <laughs> any rain until you get home. Tomorrow and Friday both look fantastic. We'll go 70s for both days. Friday maybe run at 80. Great way to finish the week. And then uh, Saturday, yes, I've raised my uh, rain chances up to 80% because I really do think we see a couple of showers and thunderstorms there. Uh, maybe the morning and the afternoon afternoon there mm -hmm. uh, and then by Sunday those showers should taper off and then here we go we're off all week next week right yeah. just take yeah. the whole week oh, off of course oh, of course July we're out of here I know I was looking at that that means Jazz Fest is gone June will be gone yeah, yeah. halfway through summer with leaves are going to start to turn <laughs> oh, easy, easy. Take a break. <laughs> Some did fall this week with the wind, though. I know. Had that. That's different. Clean up the yard. Enjoy your Wednesday, everybody. We'll see you back here in 30 minutes. Have a great day. Follow News 8 wherever you are on RochesterFirst.com, Facebook, Twitter, and on our app for news and weather.